Hi, welcome to the second video in a series on causes of red eye in which I'm going to be covering high yield information relevant to medical exams such as the USMLE, medical school finals and general practice AKT. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for new medical education content every Wednesday and Sunday. In this video, we're going to be focusing on this condition here, which is known as anterior uveitis and that's a subtype of the broader umbrella term uveitis. Anterior uveitis is inflammation of the middle layer of the eye and the middle layer of the eye is comprised of the ciliary body which you can see here as well as the iris which is the colored part of the eye so anterior uveitis is affecting this region of the eye in terms of causes of anterior uveitis, well, the most common cause is idiopathic, meaning that there's no underlying condition that can be found to be responsible. However, it can also be caused by post-surgical issues. It can be caused by trauma or a foreign body to the eye. And it can also be associated with systemic conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis, sarcoidosis, inflammatory bowel disease, any sort of hepatic infection, so things like herpes zoster or herpes simplex or cytomegalovirus, syphilis, and finally TB. And there are other systemic causes, but these are just some of the common ones that I wanted to mention in this video. In terms of symptoms, well, the patient is likely to present with a red, sore and inflamed eye. They're also going to probably complain of blurred vision and they may be describing photophobia, which is sensitivity to light. In exam questions, you might think of an irregular shaped pupil as being a common lead in question. So for example, the question might say something such as the patient has presented with an oval pupil with ciliary flush. And I've just given you an example here of an irregular pupil that you can see as part of the anterior uveitis and you can see some redness here. Sometimes you may also get something called a hypopian which is demonstrated in this photo here and that's essentially where white blood cells layer in the anterior chamber and you can usually see this on a slit lamp exam if you can't see it to the naked eye. Let's finish the video off by looking at treatment options for anterior uveitis. Well, the first thing to know is that if you're in general practice or family medicine or you're in the community and you suspect that your patient has got anterior uveitis, refer them urgently to the nearest center where they can be seen by a specialist eye doctor. The first line of treatment is likely to be topical steroids and that involves things such as prednisolone acetate, 1%, one drop every hour whilst the patient's awake, as well as drops which can dilate the pupils in combination with anti-inflammatory drugs. The dilating drops are likely to blur vision and increase light sensitivity, but by relaxing the iris muscles, the eye will become much more comfortable. The treatment takes several days or in some cases several weeks to work. If this is failing, you can think of things such as um, injections of steroid medicines just under the outer tissue of the eye which could be needed. And occasionally, if the anterior uveitis is very severe, then you can think of things such as systemic steroids or so systemic prednisolone. I'm going to be producing a series of these videos on causes of red eye over the next coming weeks and I hope you learned something new. I hope the video was helpful. Please remember to like it if you found it useful and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And until next time, bye.